What up, what up, what up? He's rocking with Mr. Harris. Another beautiful day. Another beautiful dollar to be made. It's beautiful today, yo. Oh man. Spring is spring is shining forth, baby. So real quick, I got an appointment to make. I want to discuss healing the black woman in my opinion, right? And I already made the video on how we sh how we can heal the black man. Uh, I want to uh, now create the uh, the how to heal the black woman video. So, basically, when it comes to healing the black woman, in my opinion, this is just my humble opinion, as I've stated before with the video for black men, everything in life is about order. Everything in life is about structure, right? And the structure for the man is the hierarchy of God, man, woman, children. And that structure, that order, would have to apply to the black woman as well, which it would be her submitting herself to her husband, the man in her life. That's what the structure and order is supposed to be, right? Now, one, I want to say that <laughs> I don't think that's ever going to happen anytime soon with how current day society is. And I say that only because, you know, the society we live in where feminism is promoted, single motherhood is promoted, you're an independent, strong woman, but you're living on government assistance and child support, you know, <clears throat> these ideals counterbalance any type of thought process of being independent or, or being able to uh, uh, submit yourself to a man but prior <coughs> damn excuse me <clears throat> I just finished eating excuse me however I think it's important to understand that before as men we can ever suggest or put out there that the black woman has to submit herself to the black man I believe we have to get an understanding that as black men, we have to be men worthy of being submitted to. And that first, in my opinion, that first starts with, of course, knowing the most high, having a relationship with our creator. If that's not first, then everything else is gonna fall by the wayside. And even in most of these organizations, these groups, these civil rights activists and all this nonsense, if the most high is not the foundation of making changes or making improvement in my opinion none of it is going to go anywhere the most high has to be the foundation for there to be real change within the African American community and that starts with black men putting the most high first after that on a second second tier level as men, we have to be knowledgeable. We have to be smart about life, about making decisions, about getting into different fields. We have to have our money secure. We have to have our bag secure because, let's be honest, you know, the the number one uh, thing that hinders or, or, or creates dissension in relationships is the lack of finances, right? So we have to have our financial, <clears throat> we have to have our financial game tight and on point before even entering these or entertaining these relationships but of course the most high comes first now in my personal opinion in order for our women to really be able to go forward and let go or move forward from this society that is holding back both black men and black women there are certain beliefs that i think uh, black women overall have to challenge like the belief of feminism i mean it's 2021 do our people not understand that feminism is mainly for white women? I mean, and, and we have to understand that Caucasian men are the ones who gave white women the power or ideals or thought process or beliefs of feminism. White women didn't just come up with this themselves. It was powerful, knowledgeable white men that said, hey, y'all should support this feministic beliefs and ideals that's where that started from but white women 
in the 50s and 60s, they needed the black woman to be on board. You know how the saying goes. You gotta get the black people to start doing it, and then everyone else starts doing it, and then you gotta get the black people to stop doing it while everyone continues to do it. That's how that goes. So, feminism is one of the things that our women have to let go in order for us to go forward. The second thing is the globalist ideals that are held by our people. The globalist ideals are let's everybody get together to sing Kumbaya. You know, let's, let's work with the Asians to, to establish equality. There is no such thing as equality. There is no such thing as the rich powerful man is on the same level as the drunk poor old man. There, there's nothing such as equality. The king's son is not, it is more valuable than the peasant's son. That's just what it is in society. We change that by accruing power, accruing knowledge, accruing wealth. But to sit here and fight for equality, to sit here and say we should all get together is foolish. Even in the Bible, even in the Bible, the Most High did not want us to be, uh, 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 to intermingle with everybody. He did not want us to marry strange wives from different nations because he knew that as men we would end up worshiping their gods we would end up becoming lackadaisical uh, you know we become lax in putting him first if we started to get with certain women so this whole idea of we all need to come together no we need to separate and that's another video i want to do separate separation versus unification even within the own the African American community, we need separation. If folks want to still gang bang, you still want to smoke weed all day, you still want to drink all day, you still want to rep the block, you still want to rep these gangs, you still want to get caught up in the idol worship of these rappers, these entertainers, who are all Luciferian Masonic individuals anyway, then we need separation. So we have to let go of that, and mainly our women, have to go let go of those ideals. The feminism, the globalism, the whole pro-black nonsense. I mean, I'm pro-African American as well. But at the same time, a lot of the pro-black rhetoric is a bunch of nonsense in my opinion. It's a bunch of people who really want a hug from the white people. It's, it's, it's people who want acceptance from white people for example I had a client <laughs> I'm not gonna say any names because I, I got mad love for them but I had a client who her daughter beautiful beautiful young lady I was actually interested in her but um, you know you don't mix business with pleasure <laughs> anyway um, her daughter was engaged to a white guy. I don't I don't even think it went anywhere. Her daughter was engaged to a white guy. And I thought that was very interesting because her daughter was very pro-blackish. Where she was, oh, I'm all for the black community. I'm all for the black men and stuff like that. <laughs> but then I was like, yo, 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 soon to be husband is white. That doesn't make any sense. Um and I remember her mother had told me. Oh, well, you know, she had dated plenty of black guys, but it just didn't work out or whatever. And to me, that just that just sounds like a bunch of nonsense, because especially when it comes to our black women, our black women, a lot, not all, but a lot of our black women, especially in their younger days, they end up going for thugs, for cool guys, for street dudes, for dudes that are just not the perfect emulation of who should be leading the black community or leading black men or leading anything of, of, of substance, you know? A lot of our women go for these type of men in the younger years, and then they, they, you know, they can't find a good black man. You know, so a lot of this rhetoric is foolish, and it, it, it's gonna take a lot of black women to look within themselves to see and, and want to change. Unfortunately, we just live in a society where uh, the black woman is not promoted to change, you know? The, the social handouts, the rhetoric of the black girl rocks, black woman rocks, and black power, black girl power, and all this stuff. All of that stuff to me is just is just uplifting the delusion 
of where black women are, which are which is on the bottom, like black men. You know, even in interracial dating. Y come on, let's be honest. Most of these most of these other races, they look at us, including black men, as sexual toys. Even white women, they look at black men as sexual toys, not as as black people to build something with or to create a substantial uh, life for the future. It's it's a it's a it's a fling ting, you know. And it is ultimately, I say this video in in reference to black women, but I believe the foundation is really going to be black men getting on cold, getting themselves, getting ourselves together. We are supposed to be the stability. We are supposed to be the calming force in the woman's lives. You know, uh, when you get with a black woman, it is our job as men to remove all the toxins that black women have in their lives. For example, if I get into a relationship, I'll tell I tell my woman right off the bat if if this is gonna if I'm gonna if you expect me to take you serious, uh, number one, I need passwords to everything. You know, uh, number two, your profiles are private. Number three, you cut off all exes. Number four, there are no uh, no guy friends. Okay, number five, there are no girls' nights or girls' trips. You go out with your girls once in a month or, or whatever, you hang out, but constant every weekend? No. Uh, going to Bahamas with you and your girl? No. We'll go together. And if you can't abide by these rules, then that's fine. You're a concubine in my situation, and, and we're going we gonna, to we gonna play, we're going to have fun, and then I'm going to send you back to wherever you came from. You know, it's, it's us as black men being on code about how we identify and handle things because that will put the woman in her place to understand this is what men are going to accept you know uh as coj states unfortunately black women could go to this man and he has a different program this man has a different program and this man has a different program so they know they can be all over the place with everything and again this isn't a put black woman video down uh put black woman down type of video this is for us to get an understanding of where we're at and what it takes for us to go forward as a nation of people but again, this is why I state that the Bible states that most people will perish. There has to be some type of crazy event that is going to change the dynamic of everything that is going to cause those who are real men and leaders and about something to rise up and these waveside bastard wicked men to fall as well as wicked women. So that's just my opinion on what it takes. It takes the black man to know himself first and put the most high first, the woman to be willing to submit herself to the black man and the black man who has something going on and is about something and is about structure and order that's what it's going to take and as soon as we get those things in order our ch children will follow and we will be able to go forward as a nation of people until then we will remain where we have been at for the last <laughs> i don't know five ten twenty decades so that's my video thanks for tuning in please like subscribe I'll see you soon.